she said. So, that was an intro that I can never live down. Hello, good evening, YouTube. This is Kamikaze Games. You may be wondering. I always start off my sessions inside of Earn Your Stripes mode. I just wanted to show you something quick. Casey Mears has A, A, A minus, A minus, and B for short tracks. So why is he always in the back? It doesn't make sense. Why is he always in the back when he has B, A, A, A minus, A minus? For comparison's sake, let's find someone who's always at the front. B plus, B plus, B plus, B plus, B plus. Casey Mears is objectively better than Ken Schrader in this game. But Schrader's in the chase, and Casey can barely get out of the 40s. Okay, that, that doesn't count. Um, who else is usually up at the front for whatever reason? Menard? Also the same thing. Same... It's the same old, same old situation. How about Mike Wallace? Okay, everyone is B++. plus B plus. How about... Yeah, Boyer. B A B B B C K Smears is still objectively better. Yet yeah, Boyer, I don't know if that had just mostly to do with the fact that I was freaking wrecking him all the time and rivals will be near at the front and races. I don't know if that's a thing. But Reagan is so much worse, but he is always in ahead of him. Rudiman. All B's still usually ahead of him. It doesn't seem right. But yeah, that's about the extent of what we're going to do in there. Career mode! Earn your stripes mode! Whatever you want to call this mode! Week 34, we're so close. So close. To moving along with our lives, but on, on the other hand, we also are like 4,000 points away from hitting the next level. And I think what's going to happen is I'm going to hit the next level immediately as the Talladega race happens. So, basically what I'm trying to say is that it is not possible for me to run out this contract but still have uh, the Ganassi one. So I'm going to leave my Casey Mears contract after this race. Ugh. And I'm going to go to Ganassi for a couple of races until I inevitably lose that contract as well. But the difference here is, is that um, I have finished every single cup race in the top 10. And that's a requirement in the Ganassi one. So for all I know, we could finish out the season with Ganassi. But I think I only have, what, one chance and I'm done? Because I literally cannot do the qualify one. I literally can't do that, so... It must be done the right way. And I don't know what the fuck this car's problem is. Couldn't drive like a fucking... It spun its goddamn tires. I'm the last car in the field and it spun its tires. I also turned off auto brake last night. I'm sure that's still a setting that I would need to revert. But there's, like, so many tracks where you, like, don't even need to brake at. Like, it's only the road courses where you really need to be concerned with your car speed. Like, these, just, it's just so easy to drive all these tracks. Like, I could flat foot Atlanta. Because I did the 100% race at Atlanta yesterday. I didn't record it because I didn't really want to. I just did a 100% race for fun. And uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have auto brake on anymore. We'll see if that would affect anything in the next race. But for this one, I think it's, I mean, just to keep the consistency throughout the series. Because let's see here. Does it even slow down the car in this, in this shit anymore? Like, does it even slow down the car? Move Kyle Petty. I know that isn't Kyle Petty, but it is Kyle Petty, so let's check. But yeah. I just wanted to have that cold opening or whatever. Probably gonna edit it so it isn't a cold opening, but... Yeah, I just wanted to have that little quick observation about Casey Mears' stats. And I just don't understand why he's so fucking good, but he's always in the back. And you know what I'm thinking it is? I think they're fucking giving him worse equipment on purpose. Because they're trying to undermine the championship caliber that is Casey Mears. I fucking swear with this shit. Don't wreck me, Jeff Burton. I do not have the patience. 
do not have the patience. Put up with that shit. There's Gilliland. So my quest to get him into the championship circle is just becoming ever so more annoying. Unless that's John Wooden first. Looks like Ken Schrader's trying his damnedest to get back into the championship conversation. No, Schrader's in 30th. Of course he is. See, the second we blow the lid off of the conspiracy that is keeping um, Ken Schrader in the chase and Truex and Casey Mears not... You know, once we've blown the lid off of that whole cover-up, they've decided to rectify it by making them suck. So John Wood is now pacing the field. What was what did John Wood ever do? I don't remember ever seeing him in an actual race. I've only ever seen him in these games. Like, was he like promising? I think Nixon made a crash compilation for. Uh, John Wood, but he makes all the crash compilations. And see, there's Rudiman and Almendinger up here. No Casey Mears to be seen, though. What a fucking load of shit, I gotta say. What a fucking load of shit. Alright, Gilly. Gillum. Dive Gillum. Dive Gillum. Um, the audio driver is still working on this computer now, so hopefully it doesn't echo for no reason. Echo location up in this shit. Man, this track is a lot easier than Richmond to help people work their way up through the field at. That was fucking impossible. Alrighty. And see, Gillen even knows what to do. He actually goes to the inside. I don't even need to be his teammate for him to figure this shit out. Is this the only Yates car? No, the 88 of Ricky Rudd. I'm stupid. I really like that paint scheme for the 88, by the way. That Snickers scheme. You know, 30 years from now, when the Darlington race is going to be throwback to the 2000s, some Dale should totally do that, because I'm sure he'll be racing in 30 years. He'll pull a Morgan Shepard. Hopefully not. Bowman needs that 88. Damn near won the showdown clash thing. I have hair in my mouth. Ugh. Fuck. It's really stringy too. Like old person hair. Okay. I was I didn't want to pause it, but this is fucking infuriating. Goodness gravy. It's too long to be mustache hair. But it's also too stringy to be regular hair. So I don't know what the hell happened last night to make that appear into my mouth. But Dave Gillen's gonna get another win here. And you know something else? I haven't gotten a single win in this five car yet. And you know what? That's just fine. Casey Mears hasn't gotten a win yet, so why should I? But I do have infinite top tens, yeah. Perfect. Maximum points. Well, not really, but enough points for Gulm. I'm second. <sighs> Stewart's like eighth, so this should be a good 50 points that Gulm should get on Stewart. And yeah, one more race and I'm going to lose the contract, so. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Casey. Maybe there will be a good contract once I hit level 10. Oh, and I figured out, um, this, you know, um, what's the fucking word? Schrodinger's freaking teammate, Schrodinger's teammate, I figured out who that is. Um, if it's black hair and like a really stern expression, it's Jeff. If it's, uh, like red hair and like not a stern expression is Casey Mears. So, yeah, it was mostly Casey Mears and like it's twice been Gordon. But yeah. So, oh, this feels so wrong. I don't want this. I don't want it. 
No. Casimir. It's only one race left, too, and I'd, and I'd automatically get, you know, fired from it once it's over, but... Oh, this is so wrong. It's not okay to do this. No. No. Hi, oh, hey, it's back. Top tens every race. We don't expect anything else. Keep that car together. All right. Chip Ganassi Racing. For every race, we expect a top ten. And impossible for the other one. So, Casey Mears is now... Oh, no, fuck, 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 fuck. Kyle Larson is now driving the 42. Welcome aboard. We're looking for a top 10 driver and we like what we've seen from you so far. Keep those standards up and we'll be happy. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the family, son. Okay. So this is probably how we'll finish out the season. Unless I somehow lose the truck's contract, which I wouldn't put past myself. And I haven't upgraded the car for a while. I have $345,000. I feel like I could probably allocate some of those funds to a vehicle to potentially make it not suck. Not the cup car, though. All right, let's do... Yeah, we should do engine in this series. Durability. And that's all we can do, man. That's all we can do. No reason to do the fuel efficiency. Because um, we'll never do a race long enough to warrant a pit stop regardless. So, But we do have tire wear, so I want to be able to reduce that as much as possible. Talladega 250. Three laps around Talladega. And you know and I know. And only you know and I know that I'm going to go down on the yellow line. But that's okay. If I wanted an accurate racing simulation, I'd be playing iRacing. I'd be playing iRacing. So yeah, I've had all that money and I could have been dumping it into the Xfinity car, but I never did. Benson's on the pole to the surprise of literally no one. Let's jump back here. Move your dick. Move. I hate how you start on the outside. That is so inconvenient. But this is not inconvenient. This is most certainly not inconvenient. This. This is most certainly the opposite of inconvenient. Slow down, Johnny. While they're too wide, people should actually be able to get by you. Alright. Yes. I'm never going to win this championship. No way, no sir. But I will still try. Come on. This is a long track, dudes. Let's do it. Perfect. Fuck. That's not what I wanted. Hang on. Alright, yellow flag's out. Don't know what caused that. Can't imagine what could have caused that. Yep. Good shit. Alright. Now, if there's a caution that comes out at all for the rest of the race, we will end under caution, which is problematic to say the least. So we need to get, we need to do exactly what I just did before. You know what? If I had known this was going to happen, why can't this happen at other tracks, by the way? Like, really? Really? Really, guys? Well, at least Johnny's not going to win the championship. Maybe Quaff. Quaffle, waffle, dropple, dropple. Well. So Benson's still back there. You know what? The intelligent thing to do would be bring out the caution now so that Johnny can't make up any more positions. Perfect. I don't know why I didn't think of that immediately. Congratulations, Kyle Larson. You did literally the most screwy thing you could have possibly done. I don't... Johnny didn't leave a lap. Yes, like I said, to level 10 we are. And that's not the max level. Once it maxes out this level, it'll be max level. But it doesn't count as like a max level thing in a contract. It's only going to be kind of level 10 contracts from here on out. No medallions in this race. I can't believe it. So. They're not even bothering with the graph. One lap led. Yes. Hugh Jackson got the other. So 195 versus 64. You know, if there was ever a way I was going to be winning the championship, this is going to be it. I'm going to have to remember this when we get back to trucks, because I'm never... Yeah, Johnny's there. He's totally, yeah. 
Look at that stoic expression on his face, though. He's like, he knows exactly what Kyle Larson did. And he is plotting his revenge. Planning his vengeance! So, yeah. Well, then. That was an interesting three minutes. I wonder how the standings look. We didn't even check for Gilliland's situation. He's probably right there or immediately behind. Yes, 32 points ahead is David Gilliland. Last place is Waltry. That was like 100 points that I gained in a, 150 points that I gained in that race. 151, I think, exactly. No, it was 141 or 31. One or the other. So if we could do that like three more times, I'd be able to get this championship. But I don't think that's going to happen. So, cut into that lead. Very nicely. We need to do that in the, in, in the Nationwide Series. That's what we should have been doing in the Nationwide Series this whole damn time. I mean, I've been, I've been trying. You've seen me try. So let's see what the contract situation is here. Level 10, so I could go back with my homie. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Joe Gibbs racing and Michael Waltrip racing again. Nine car, go back to the five. What's this gonna be this time? Top 10 placing and intimidate other drivers for 40 seconds. We might just have to get back into the destroying of Clint Boyer's life situation here. We might just. Eight races. Why are these contracts so short? Why? I mean, I know the season's almost over, but what? What is the purpose? Oh, yeah. So I could drive for these guys. Great. I can't wait. That's the only contract available in this nationwide series here. Fucking A. What the devil? What the devil? <laughs>